seem to have enough release players in the middle of the ground that are able to get into space and uh, Brisbane are zoning off and when they create the turnover, well then there's a lot of free bodies. The handball receive stat was 34 to 29 in, uh, in Brisbane's favour in the first half and watching the game it certainly looked that way, they had more run off the half back and through the middle of the ground. He's feasted on the Blues of late in his last eight games going into this match. Brownie had kicked 38 against Carlton, so almost at five a match, including a career-high 10. So he's got a couple, Favola's got a couple, and the Lions have got the last four in the match. Simpson took it off, Rich. Bags towards centre-half forward, Adcock against the flow. O'Halpin oh, wobbling, wobbling, and not even the ball will bounce right. That was on line, and the Blues are two goals nine here to 5-3. So more scoring shots, but losing a little bit of touch on the scoreboard, needing the next goal. McGrath to bring it in. He's developed into a fine player, Ashley McGrath. Outside the defence of 50, I knew that'd fix him. Wait, sends it back over his head, or does he? Slides off towards the pocket. Merritt couldn't complete the mark. Yaron can't keep it in. The way Drummond kicks the ball in, I think you're better with a uh, ball up in the boundary throw and then a behind, because it... Uh... He mostly makes sure Brisbane get a kick around the middle of the ground after the kick-in. Margin 12 points early going. Second term, Thursday night football, sell-out, chance of a record attendance for the Lions tonight. Willenberger with his second attempt, stolen away by Houlihan, hurriedly with the boot, towards the opposite pocket. Henderson finds it on the ground. Surely he was legged. He'll get a free kick. So lucky Henderson. A chance to kick his second, his second of three. And it's not saying too much. He's 20 metres out, virtually straight in front. If Carlton want to win this game, they've got to be able to take some more of these shots. At the moment, it's a bit demoralising their uh, inefficiency shooting for goal. Last eight scoring shots behinds. Bernie made, I think, two of those posters. But even so, eminently kickable, a lot of them. Henderson. Important kick. Doesn't let his new team down. I guess the pleasing thing from the Carlton point of view is that just watching the game, it feels like Brisbane are all over them, but yet yeah. the scoreboard suggests they're only six points down, and had they kicked straight, the, uh, the tables may be turned. In most of the key stats, the inside 50s are 17 18, so they're fairly, uh, mm. fairly similar. Uh, the lines are well in, uh, sorry, I'll show Carlton are well in front in contested positions. They're going pretty well. Their tackles are fairly even. Of course, it's uh, 12 scoring shots to right. So I think Carlton are going all right. But they've got to take their chances up forward. Henderson's keeping up with Favola. They've both got a couple of goals. So good effort there. And converted. And a run of eight consecutive points as Dennis Esso. Six points the margin. Lions leading it. Clark over the top. Ball. And who was first down? I just have been impressed with Cruiser the way he's contesting. Is that you know, Warnock. Uh, Warnock? But both the Carlton Rutman, Cruiser and Warnock, their ability to ruck and then get after the ball at ground level. Waited full forward for the Blues. There is Warnock, but Clark getting over the top. Walker had a bit of an airy. High ball to centre wing by Murphy. Adcock. Black. Just ricocheted off Rich, and it'll be a boundary throw in. What a great player Black's been for such a long stretch. He's been the benchmark in disposals and clearances and contested footy for a long, long stretch of the midfielders. Warnock, very good last week, works his way in front. Ruscatelli from behind the third man up. Joseph goes down. Carrazzo, hurried kick from forward of the wing. Floats it down towards the attacking 50. Merritt the big leap, hand on the shoulder. Oh, Halpin will get the free. Wait. Oh, sorry. What did I say? Oh, Halpin. It's a 55 metre kick. Not sure whether White's got that distance. I'm not sure whether he thinks he has either. So he'll kick from about 55. So he sends it up towards the kickoff line. Over the top, Warnock. Didn't bring the ball to ground, though. Stolen away by Clark to Adcock. Drummond. Now Maguire is running. Drives it towards the outer side. Can McLean keep it in? No, it runs away from him. Then we'll have a throw in. 
Chris Yaron, who had such a good week last week, a career high three goals, just two possessions so far, and Adcock is leading him a merry dance so far. So Clark and Warnock, McLean in the front spot, Rich with him, Black's hands were terrific to Reigns, back to Johnston, so at centre wing, and controls the kick to Brown. So Favola one out with Jamison here, and Brown's going to take the chance and go to Fev. Jamison worked around him. Wanted a free Favola, didn't get it. Lapped up a bit, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, that left arm around the waist, every now and again the umpire will ping a defender for that. Well, Clark did well against Cruiser. Little left footer for Vola leaning back. And again, searching for the free that wasn't there that time, and Arnford off the ground. Six points the difference. Very stiff not to get a free kick there for Vola. But umpire Bozzo, as you saw on the replay, was located on the boundary. Possibly the worst spot of all to pick that one up. Missing it was Cruiser. Briscatelli left it behind. McLean grabs it. Hurried kick towards the wing, but it's coming back. Merritt looks towards the middle. Thinks about McGrath. Decides not to go. Instead goes to Reigns. Reigns wheels around. Nothing on. Has to come back. Lucky for him. He's nimble enough. Goes towards half forward. Brennan. Second attempt. No good. Over the football. Joseph. Carazzo pushed in the back. No. Brennan over him. Carazzo's got it, wishes he didn't. Brilliant pick up by Scotland. Russell, under pressure, gets the kick towards the other side. Penalty, relayed free kick. That's great work from Carazzo there. He made the play and probably could have got a free kick in the back and then boxed on, farmed the ball out now to Carlton, a defensive rebound. I think we're seeing a little bit of slight slippery ball footy. I mean, even if it's just the moisture from the sweat, on the players' arms. It just every now and again, if it uh, does that, the yellow ball will get a bit slippery and there'll be a bit of his hand. So, Anderson to Thornton. Oh, oh dear. Staker, 65 yeah. metres out. On the move for Bowler. Two of the new boys. When you're, when you're in that position as Thornton is, he's, he's got his hands full with Jonathan Brown. His confidence is probably a little bit low. When you've got the ball in your hands, you really have to make it count. That half-back flank, the centre square kick. We, we know Geelong get away with it all the time, but very hard to do it regularly. But he knew then, as soon as Staker turned right, for bowler was off. He knew yeah. exactly where he was going to go. Bit of the old finger it's torture like there. Mm. Back in the schoolyard with that one. Jamison trying whatever he can. Here's Favola going at his third. Spending back. He's got three. Brisbane increased their lead. They're up by 12. And disappointing opening terms. So the margin stretches again to a couple of goals. Cruiser, very impressive, over the top. Carazzo couldn't get it out. Heavy traffic there. Riscatelli onto him. He's a good tackler, Riscatelli. Just, just back onto the turnover. Carlton have been, we've commented they've been quite stagnant with their ball movement. So mm. I guess the positive is they're thinking about attacking through the corridor. You've just got to get the balance right. Seven tackles against West Coast last week for Riscatelli. Hurlihan read it best and then gets it forward. Henderson and Merritt and getting back quickly. Yaron left foot. Of, no, it misses again. But his acceleration was impressive there. I feel like Yaron and Betts are going to have to kick multiple goals tonight don't feel like they're big guys i know henderson's got a couple so far but that's it lucky there to match what you think's going to happen at the other end by the end of the night the little guy's going to have to kick some goals for the blues johnston out of the back pocket number four shades of johnny gaster business casual that's it it was black half back not a good kick by his standards, a terrible kick. Cruiser the mark, Murphy the run, kicks inside the forward 50. Throwing himself at the football, Yaron. Couldn't complete the mark though. Reigns does well, series of hand passes, finishes with Black. And now power. Margin currently at 11 points. Brisbane surging inside their forward 50. Loose ball at the back, taken by Staker. He snaps, beautiful effort, through for a goal.